This week on The Muse, the end to the statewide moratorium on evictions is rapidly approaching and the Fair Housing Council of Riverside County is here to help. What that means for you and where you can get assistance. Plus, the City of Paris has a new multi-purpose sports court. Whether it's futsal, volleyball, or tennis, this new court is where you want to be this summer. And the downtown Paris mural is just about completed as Mayor Michael Vargas adds some finishing touches. It's all ahead on the Weekly Muse, and it starts right now. Hello, City of Paris. I'm Stephen Hale from the Clarence Muse Center in Paris, California, and welcome to the Muse. We begin today with a fair housing update for the upcoming conclusion to the eviction moratorium here in the City of Paris. The statewide eviction moratorium is set to end on June 30th, 2021. And while the city has offered a four month local extension, residents should begin preparing for the conclusion of that moratorium. But don't fret, the nonprofit organization Fair Housing Council of Riverside County is the organization that fights to protect the housing rights of all individuals and provides education and assistance with landlord tenant disputes tenants' rights, and general information about the moratorium. The Fair Housing Council of Riverside County identifies discrimination primarily through the phone calls that it receives, with an average of 60 to 90 calls daily at their three offices throughout Riverside County. When discrimination is alleged or uncovered, the Fair Housing Council of Riverside County investigates the complaint and then refers it to an enforcement agency, either the Federal Department of Housing and Urban Development, California Department of Fair Employment and Housing, or a private attorney. The Fair Housing Council of Riverside County is not an enforcement agency. Other services provided are first-time home buyer counseling, as well as one-on-one -on -one counseling for homeowners facing foreclosure, and technical training for government, community organizations, and business groups who are mandated to complete fair housing education. Additionally, the city offers first-time home buyer programs so the training from the Fair Housing Council is good support for all first-time home buyers here in Paris. For more information, visit fairhousing.net or contact Paris Housing at cityofparis.org to submit an application. And last Saturday on May 22nd, the city held its second installment of the Let's Take a Hike series up at Terry Peak. And our very own Karina Espinoza made the hike and covered it. Karina? Thanks, Stephen. We're at the Three Mile Take a Hike event at Terry Peak, located at Lake Paris. Today's hike was great. It was great to bring the community out as we start to reopen, bring them out to the great outdoors. Today's hike was moderate, probably a little harder than the first one. Today's participation was great. We had entire families come out for a great workout. For more Live Well Paris events, follow the City of Paris on social media. For Paris TV, Karina Espinoza. Thanks, Karina. The City of Paris and Community Services Department is thrilled to announce the official opening of a new multi-purpose sport court at Copper Creek Park, built by Horizons Construction Company. Back in 2019, the City Council urged staff to explore possible upgrades to Copper Creek Park, and after community engagement efforts, staff returned with a plan for a multi-purpose sport court striped for volleyball, tennis, and futsal. A generous financial contribution from Duke Realty brought the plan to life, and now the court is open to the public, with future programming on the way. The recreational facility also offers lighting for nighttime play, as well as programming and restroom amenities. Residents can now go out and enjoy this new facility and get some much needed vitamin D. The park is now officially open from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m., Monday through Friday, and on Saturdays and Sundays from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. A tennis schedule is being developed for future residential use as well, so be on the lookout on our city website for more information. And now for a look at your five-day forecast, here's Karina Espinoza with the weather. Thanks, Stephen. Things will be warm this week, cooling down into the low to mid-50s at night. The wind will continue to blow mostly out of the west. As summer approaches, keep an eye out on the UV index, which will hit a 10 out of 10 this week. So if you're going to be outdoors, make sure and carry water and sunblock with you just in case. Stay cool, Paris. Back to you, Steven. 
All right, so it'll be warm, but not necessarily hot. That's good news. Thanks, Karina. Just two quick announcements before we go. First, the new mural in downtown Paris is nearing completion, and our local artist, Mr. Juan Solis, has been working tirelessly to complete this project. Mayor Michael Vargas stopped by on Tuesday, May 25th, to put some finishing touches on the mural, and city staff expects the project to be completed later this month, with an official unveiling taking place in June. And last but not least, the COVID-19 vaccination and testing site will be closed in observance of Memorial Day on Monday, May 31st, 2021. So please plan accordingly. The testing site will resume its normal operating hours Tuesday through Thursday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And the vaccine site will also resume normal operating hours Tuesday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. That'll do it for your weekly muse. Don't forget to follow us on the Paris Today Facebook page. Be sure to follow us on the Instagram and Twitter account at City of Paris and subscribe to the Paris TV YouTube channel for around the clock continued coverage from wherever you're at, from your tablet or smartphone device. From the Clarence Muse Center in Paris, California, I'm Stephen Hale and that's the muse.